Recording in progress. All right, we are now being joined by Jalen Bates. We'll begin with a few questions from our media. Jay, your line is now live. Hey, thanks very much. And uh, Jalen, welcome back. I mean, now that you are uh, entering your third fight, uh, has the feeling changed at all ahead of the bout? I know you had the amateur run, so maybe that changes things a little, but are there more nerves, less nerves as your career progresses? I would say I get a little more nervous as, as everything goes. Uh, more my record is on the line, of course, so I get a little more nervous, but that just means I care. So I love it. All right, and just give us your thoughts on this matchup with uh, Cody Matthews and how you see this one going. It's going to be a, a painting, and his face will be the canvas. You know, when you talk about making that sort of work of art, is there anything in particular you want to demonstrate in this fight? Yeah, really my athleticism. I feel like um, my last couple fights, my last two fights, you know, I wrestled, I wrestled a lot. I did a lot of damage, but this fight I want to show my athleticism and my stand-up a lot more. I know, he, I know he has a knockout, so I'm excited to go out there and see what he, what he has to offer. All right, well, best of luck this Friday. Thank you. All right, Abraham? Hey, Jaden Bates, how are you doing? Great, how are you? I'm good. Um, my question is for you is, um, you've been in Bellator for two fights already, you're two and oh. How much has your journey changed since you started fighting for Bellator and how much have you learned, not just about fighting, but about yourself? I've learned that actually before I actually started fighting in Bellator that I wasn't taking this sport as serious as I could. And I feel like that's been the biggest change for me is that I'm taking it a lot more serious than I thought I already was. And um, I've seen a progression in my game elevate. Um, nothing's changed though with me personally. Like I'm still me, I just go in and do my thing and win. All right, thank you for your time. Steven. Hey, Jalen, it says you're fighting out of Las Vegas, but your affiliation is uh, American Top Team Portland on your uh, bio. What's, uh, wh where are you training out of these days? Yeah, so I'm actually in between Vegas and Oregon, but I do train at American Top Team Portland. That is my home gym. I do have boxing trainers and I do train at, in uh, Vegas at times. So I, I, don't, I don't know why it says I'm fighting out of Vegas, but I am from the fight capital of the world, so that's probably why. Right. The reason I was why I was asking is because that team, that gym has been shut down uh, for for quite a while because of the the pandemic and the restrictions. So I was just wondering if you'd had to sort of made any, make any adjustments to how you prepare for fights. Yeah, no, um, the gym's actually been closed to pe to professionals who actually had bouts coming up. So the 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 training for me hasn't stopped. We've been just preparing, just preparing and staying ready. Gotcha. Thank you. Jeff, go ahead. Jeff Brantley from the Man in the Cage podcast. Jalen, uh, your first two pro fights have been in front of no fans. How does it feel this time out that you get to go put on a show for the fans this time at Bellator 261? Uh, the beast is going to roar. That's all I know. Awesome. Thank you. Santiago. Hi, Jalen. Greetings from Amsterdam, and thank you for the time. You just fought last April and you scored a beautiful submission win. Now the promotion is bringing you back again two months later for another fight. Can you feel it as well, Jalen, that Bellator is giving you a lot of great opportunities to showcase your skills so that you can, gr that you can grow yourself into the bantamweight rankings? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, that's why I'm so thankful and blessed to be here. I've said that as the, for my first interview. I'm just blessed, extremely blessed. So truly thankful and uh, just move in an attitude of grat grat uh, gratitude every day. Scott Coker has hinted that a bantamweight Grand Prix could be next for Bellator. Is a million dollar Grand Prix in this very deep division something that would excite you, Jalen? Million dollars doesn't excite me because I'm looking for more than millions, but that's cool. We'll, we'll start there. Good luck on fight night, sir. Thank you. Mason. Hey, Jalen, this is Mason from the Esports Sesh Podcast. How are you, man? Doing good. That's great to hear. As, as we know, your last fight ended by a finish in the second round. Can fans <laughs> expect a similar result come Friday night? Yeah, you can expect me to just go toe-to-toe go -to -toe with Corey, or whatever his name is, and uh, 
we're going to stand there and we're going to see what he has to offer. And I'm going to give him everything I've got and see if he can handle it. And what do you expect to be next for you after this fight? I want any but any of these five Duma, Casabell, Will Smith, Kimball, any, any, any of these Bellator guys. Let me. Thank you, sir. All right. Thanks for the time, Jalen. Good luck on Friday. Thank you.